So Henry, the travel season is underway for people heading out this weekend. Will the weather cooperate? A bit soggy here at home, but nothing severe. And I know I sound like a broken record saying that, ladies, but after the last week, yes. I'm sure y'all have gotten comments too. Is it going to be severe from viewers? No. It's not. We want to hear good. that. That's just good. some rainfall to deal with some rumbles of thunder. That will be the story as we go through the rest of the evening and through Saturday before a cold front pushes through. Here's a look at power of five radars. 60s out there where a warm front has already moved through 50s though north of the front and that's where we have the heavier showers as we look at power of five radars. Here's where the frontal boundary currently is as it slowly continues its lift northward before it'll start to transition again and move through as a cold front altogether. So the heavier rain, which is common in advance of the warm front and we're dealing with fog clouds and some drizzle out there in some spots here at home. Let's look at exact track uh, dinner time. Still mild here at home, still cloudy and likely still some fog and light showers and drizzle across much of Middle Tennessee. Heavier rain to our north showers off and on some area showers and rumbles of thunder overnight, similar to what we saw last night into this morning. Nine o'clock Saturday morning, mild 60s out there, some rain, a few rumbles of thunder blending in. But look behind the cold front 40s Murray, Kentucky up towards Paducah. We're going to take you now to lunchtime. Front should be moving through much of the mid state, dropping from those 60s we saw into the 50s for Nashville, Dixon, 40s towards Camden, Murray, Parsons. Let's take you now towards about 3:30 in the afternoon. A lot more 40s on the map, 60s in advance of it. Still some rain though on the backside of this low, along with the clouds that will continue continue towards uh, dinner time Saturday, and you should get ready to head out for your Saturday night and possibly a few lingering showers by news time Saturday night. Sunday will start with some clouds and chilly in the 30s out there, and then those clouds will gradually break through the day despite some sunshine only into the 40s, then down to the 30s by dinner time Sunday night, and we're looking at a pretty cold night Sunday into Monday with a clear sky. Right now, fog along the Cumberland River as we look towards that uh, Riverside Inn there in Clarksville from our Skynet site, 57, over a half an inch of rain there. We picked up over an inch in Franklin since midnight. We're at 64. Looking at the Wego Transit Station, here's the Wego Star right now. Getting ready to uh, head out on this Friday, 64 as uh, some sprinkles and drizzle continue to fall in downtown Nashville. So warm again for us if we are in the mid state, but cooler up in the bluegrass state. Here's a look ahead this week in 58 degrees tonight, 65 tomorrow. Titans kick off at noon will be in the 30s. Suns and cloud around northwest wind at 5 to 10 on Sunday. So uh, may want to watch the game indoors as they are up in the steel city of Pittsburgh, but dry weather. And we'll see dry weather throughout the upcoming week with temperatures around 50. Slight chance, very slight chance rain we're going to watch for on Christmas Eve next Friday. But uh, Emily, it is nice to say a tranquil pattern, if you will, starting Sunday through a good part of the upcoming week.